I'm gonna get to Bjergenwerf and and it's full of these guys. Yeah, in case if you're wondering, and ugh, I hate it when they get stuck on you because you can just see their face. You know, I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, when they leap like that, they're actually going for a grab, and uh, what they do is they cause frenzy. And yeah, you know how I feel about frenzy. Do not like it. Do not like it one bit. And I end up getting grabbed. And oh, thank you. I thought they were they get it said. Well if definitely this next one hit hits me with the grab, I'm definitely gonna get hit with the frenzy. And he's a bit too far. to go too far because yeah look at it it's a brain sucker hopefully I'm moving at a consistent rate and I think this is far ah I didn't kill yeah you would want to avoid that because what that move is, it's basically, it binds you. And yeah, if you get binded, they instantly go for the grab. That one was unnecessarily tough for some reason. Arcane Lake is actually arcane defense. But I still have the regular lake one, so I'm just getting... Uh, physical defense. So that's pretty much the worth of it. Checking out if there's anything. I'm actually gonna look up here because we're gonna have some invaders. Oh look, there they are. Do that because I want you to... That one instantly went for it. Those seem weaker than the other ones, but then again, I could, I'm probably just speaking out of my butt. Uh, Madman knowledge, and this big one over here is not as intimidating as it looks. It's really not too much of a problem. It really isn't. This is literally the way you can beat it. Because it tries so hard. It was actually clipping through the railing. How much health does it have? Well, it's probably close to half by now, I think. But, like, look, this is literally all you do, and you can just render this enemy useless. Like I said, as intimidating as it looks, it's actually pretty sad. And this is a uh, Great One's Wisdom. And I think those are two. You get plus two insights for those. Make sure he doesn't do that. God, get away from me. I don't want to look at your face. Sedatives, okay. Sedatives is what you use to lower down your frenzy. I haven't used it to, well, I think I did to test it out, and yeah. It's like when you get hit with Frenzy, or you're getting a uh, progression of Frenzy, you use the item and you're fine. Okay, so we're in the house that we were supposed to go in. And if I remember right, this is a slug? Yeah, this is one of the Chalice Dungeon materials. And we're actually going to run into another hunter here soon. And there's the other hunter. This one has the threaded cane. 
That goes actually pretty easy. And he also has that spell. Actually does a lot of damage too. What the hell? Oh no. Ugh. I forgot that one has that spell too. Ah, that's what makes this one annoying. Ugh. That spell is just... It's too annoying to deal with. You know what, if I could do more damage, I... You know what, I'll actually give it a test drive right now. I don't know how useful it would be on that one. It probably would be, to be honest. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see. Because I don't really need that anymore, so... This is why it's very, very useful to run uh, Beast Roar. You're about to see right now. Plus, that's a hunter, so they don't respawn. This is literally the reason why you would run Beast Roar. Uh, not to get hit, obviously. Oh, I didn't get to use it. Knock him down. Down, get back your stamina. Rinse and repeat. Back down. Yeah. That's literally the reason why you run Beast Roar. It's actually really cheap. At least for um, when you get them at Stunlock. But yeah, you also have to keep it consistent with your bullets. But let's be honest, for the next boss you're really not going to need the gun. Like being completely honest. And the studio uniform, which is what that, that one was wearing. And where's the blood? Did I... Hold on, did I pick up the blood already? I'm trying to remember where I died. I guess... Uh, I, wow. It probably just told me I got my blood back, but... I just didn't pay attention. Well, I'll probably just look at it when I put this up. So let's see. I thought that'd be in. I thought there was a note there. To be honest, there wasn't that much blood anyway, but it would still be nice to get it back. Okay, so we actually got to go up to the higher level anyway because that door over there is locked and we need to go through there. And bam, there's the key to the door right there. There's also another chest over here, but there's also one of these guys. Quickly take care of him and drop anything. And I, if I remember right, I think this is another spell. 
Uh, yeah, it is another spell. Basically, that tentacle thing that she was doing as a spell, that's what it is. You're gonna need high arcane to do that. Uh, do you, or do I have enough arcane now? Uh, no, it's actually 15. You can actually use it now. But this consumes three bullets. So, let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I think I got the wrong one. Alright, display. The gray one. Helichers discovered viruses and poisons. They're also called shells. And can be you rubbed on with enemies. Oh, wait. Imbue this strength. How about if I, like, equip it? Wow, what did I just do? Ah, oh, okay, so I was thinking of the wrong one. This is basically a buff to your weapon. I don't know how long the buff lasts, but it does It does use three of them. It does use the three of your buff. What the? Was this there? Wait, was this always there? What? What? Okay, hold on. I, okay, I'm mind blown right now. If you don't remember, this was the guy in the cutscene, the one in the chair. Mm hmm. So let's bring it like that. He actually gives two. So, am I willing to do this? I guess, for the next boss. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. They're wondering, like, is this what all what you do? Well, there's actually something else you do, and it's called jumping. And I literally forgot how to jump. You don't have to jump, you can just drop down there. This is just a beautiful area, isn't it? So yeah, there's our next boss that we face. Rom. He's actually not alerted right now, so let's change that. Now, the thing about this boss that makes it just hard to bear with is the minions that it throws out. Because you can quickly get surrounded very easily. And yeah, they, as you would suspect, they do a lot of damage. That's literally what this boss is. Well, not all of it. The boss is just taking his time right now to just, you know, mellow around. But, all I gotta say for this boss battle is, yeah, just take out the underlings. And then, once they're done, go for the, we'll go for Ram. Rom. Now eventually, when you get take care of them and then start going for Rom, you're gonna see, he's gonna start teleporting. So what happens here is he's gonna teleport somewhere, and there he is. He spawns more underlings, and after the first phase, he actually starts attacking. What is attacks? Well, you're probably going to see as soon as I get close. That's one of them. Spires come out from the... Well, I'll go to the ground. Basically the floor. And he unleashes them. And then he does that, and that means he's going to rain. So yeah, I'm dealing with those attacks and these underlings all the time. This boss can get pretty hectic. definitely not a fan favorite boss battle for sure like I already know so many people that say they did not like facing this boss 